I'm Brian Dykes, Principal Engineer at TJPA, and I'm going to take you out today on a tour of the Transbay Transit Centre under construction. It's three blocks long, as you can see in this model next to me, and there's a big thousand-foot tower tower under construction right next to it. We will go the whole length of this, including the bridge to the connects it to the Bay Bridge, and we will go two levels underground, about 65 feet down. Uh, to where the trains will come in to the lower level basement slab 60 feet down on a five foot concrete slab where the trains will come in from San Jose and from Los Angeles in the future. The outside structural frame which gives this building its curved shape. These are all tubes. All of these pieces were fitted together up in Oregon where they've been made at Oregon Iron Works. So when they come down here, you know they're going to fit. Uh, but you still have to weld them on site. These tubes are sometimes as much as two inches thick. So to do a two inch thick weld takes you 24 hours. You do it with a thing called an orbital welder, which is computer driven and it just keeps on going. Virtually everything is US. The only things that are not are very specialized. This is the first street crossing. This was actually the first temporary bridge we built and this took us three days over a long weekend. And that deck and all the awnings allow us to continue work with welding and everything up there without showering sparks onto the traffic below. And the Bay Bridge is up here on the left. So we are building a bridge to connect from the Bay Bridge into the terminal. From those piers to the bus deck is 250 feet. It'll be one big single pier with cables going out 140 feet span in either direction. This is a ramp split into two parts. The bigger part is for vehicles that are doing maintenance work, supply vehicles, in other words, official business. And the other ramp will be for bicyclists. This is the far end of the term building. the train level. So behind you there are six tracks coming in on curves. The curves are about 650 foot radius. So it started from the far end wall and we're just about getting on the straight now. It'll be 1500 feet of straight when we do the final extension. Where we're looking there are two tracks. Each platform has a track on either side. That's an elevator coming in. A final at that end will be staircases. Because okay. at the end of every platform, you have to have a staircase. There are elevators on every platform and, and, and escalators. So you have an escalator coming down to the platforms. At this level here, there's roughly another foot of concrete, plus the tracks. Because the tracks are, are directly connected to the concrete, known as direct fixation. Then from the top of the rail, which is now about two feet up above, is another almost four feet plus to the platform level. We've still got a little to go yet, but the basement so far we've poured about 90,000 cubic yards of concrete, and we'll be over 100,000 when we finish the train box, so 108,000. It is an amazing project, yeah. I started meeting with the High Speed Rail Group right after 2004. And the relationship basically is, has been a pretty cordial one. It's, it's a long process, there's a lot of design decisions that have to be made. Most of those are over now. As you can see, when you go on this trip, the concrete's in the ground, it's too late to change now. This is where it has to go. As our agency is actually building the station, one terminal station, uh, we feel responsible to make certain that in fact Every, everybody fits in comfortably. Uh, and so sometimes one ends up as a, as a negotiator between Caltrain and High Speed Rail, so that they both get the best possible use out of this station. I took this project on uh, as the final challenge in my construction and design career, and it's been great fun. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't great fun. 